our snowmobile trip today. Okay. We'll find out. <laughs> we will. I look like I'm ready to uh, walk to Nassau. It's hot in here. Here, let's go ride. Oh, rumors just been flying. This might be a good ride. We've got a quarter tank of gas, so we need to get to the gas station. Beautiful day, the groomers been out, did a great job. Nice sunny day, it's about, uh, what is it today, minus, I think it's minus 13 when we left. That's a nice and warm day. A little bit of a hole there. Slow down for the bumps. Stop for gas, but uh, being a Sunday, our little gas station over here is not going to be open on a Sunday, so we're going to keep going on up to Creemore and we'll fuel up the sleds up there.
Oh, it's warm out here in the sun. It gets a little bulky when you try to put all this extra stuff on, though. Sweatshirt. Snow pants that are three sizes too big. But we stay warm. Here we go. Funny story, the other day Pete went out on the sleds just to try a different uh, sled mount for the cameras. And uh, we had a big uh, clip in one of our kits that came with a bunch of accessories for the camera. And he clipped it on the front uh, windshield of the sled and went out for a ride. And I guess he realized after a few minutes the camera was gone. So we looked for it for a few hours just on our local trail by our house. Couldn't find it, thought maybe somebody had picked it up. It had fallen off into the snow, into the snowbank somewhere. I posted a little post on social media saying, you know, if anyone's out on these trails, and you happen to find one of these little action cameras, let us know. We'd love to get it back. You know, you got your camera case, the battery, the SD card. All the accessories with it. So nobody, you know, we had a few people out looking and they said, oh, we're on that trail all the time. We'll take a look. Talked to some people while we were out there. You know, this is what we're looking for. Let us know if you find it. And, uh, didn't really find anything, thought it was gone. A week later, we got a knock on the door one night. And one of the neighbors that lived down the street from us handed us the camera. He, they were out with their dog walking on the trail and the, uh, the dog sniffed it out in the snowbank. So I guess he picked it up, he said, and he charged the battery and was looking at the, uh, the video. And Pete had turned the camera on from the garage when he left. So you could see our house and where he where he left from. And so they just followed the, the trail back to our house. At one point in the video, he said, hey, I recognize that house. It was mine in the video. So he knew, he knew where the camera had, uh, had come from just from watching the video and, uh, and returned it to us. So. We're, we're completely, I'm still completely in shock that we actually got this camera back, so. But I guess that's the, uh, the price you pay when you're out doing these, these videos and vlogs on snowmobiles and motorcycles. 
you know, some of the vloggers that we watch, they're out on their bikes with drones and one of the guys has lost I mean, 25 different drones. They crash, they take off, they lose the signal and away they go. We were so happy to be able to have this camera back. It was, it was kind of a shock that it actually made it back. There's going to be a lot more sleds up this way. Well, the trail seems like it's in good shape. Lots of snow this year so far. So.